Hello, do you remember Ryland? He's my son. Um, this is the May edition of Dyer's Prize Unboxing with the prizes that I win in competitions. Uh, this is the first one that I'm sharing with you this month uh, because there's something inside that um, well, it's more Ryland's thing than mine, so he's assisting me with opening it because we're not sure what to expect. Three big heavy boxes. They might all have the same thing and we don't know yet. We'll find out. Let me do that one. No, all good. All right. Right. Wow. Okay, so. Cans. Oh, this one. Cans. Top berry. Is that what we asked for? I can't remember. Oh. So, cans of tango. So heavy. 24 cans. It's really heavy. Right. There we go. Show me this. Right, yeah. Chuck that over there. Right, so 24 cans of dark berry tango, which I haven't tried yet. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Nice. Okay, brilliant. Let's pop it on the table. Ready? That table? Oh, yeah, good point. It's a glass table. Let's <laughs> put it over here. Oh, there we go. Right, okay, so next box. Same. Let's see. Might be the same, might not. Uh, while Rye's opening it, I'll tell you what the competition was. It was it was on Instagram, doing very well on Instagram this year. Um, photo competition and you had to uh, basically say where you would hide your can of tango so all the people in your house wouldn't find it so where would you stash your, your can or your bottle I suppose of tango um, and I was thinking about it for ages and I couldn't think of anywhere and then on the, the, the last day of the competition I'm thinking I have to enter this competition because I've got a can of tango in the fridge oh, we have to do it oh here we go shall I grab it Original. Orange. Orange. Orange, the best tango. Original and best, I think. Brilliant. So we've got 24 cans of this as well. Yes, yeah, so you have to hide your can of tango. And um, and I decided to hide it in a jar of lentils. Uh, because why not? So I took a photo of the tango. Well, <laughs> first of all, I put it in the jar of lentils. Uh, and then took a photo but you couldn't see the can so it was pointless because I could have just taken a photo of anything and said there was tango there so I had to shake it a bit so you just see a little bit of the logo uh, yeah so that was good and then I got a message saying I was one of their three random winners and um, yes so we've won 72 cans of tango so we're, just, was, so we're just seeing if they've sent us a variety well this one so what we got orange dark berry what would we expect from here well, I think I saw it was I think it's another dark berry is it yeah. i wasn't sure because did, did we say that we i don't dad said he liked apple i don't really like apple tango i haven't tried it right so this is nice because you know i win a lot of um well i win a lot of cocktail ingredients these days which of course ryland can't partake in uh, however when we have a treat on a friday and saturday and have a cocktail rye has a can of pop so um we now have many supplies for... <laughs> right, um, oh, more dark berry. More dark berry. Well, let's hope I like it too. Brilliant. Lovely. So that is... How many cans of dark berry? 48. Yeah. And 24 cans of orange tango. So that's brilliant. And also, uh, because we've almost got the room downstairs finished that i showed you over a year ago <laughs> that we've been working on and got a new fridge freezer uh, for that thanks to a lot of very lovely uh, blog readers who um pitched in to donate to that which is really lovely it's like i had a prize from everyone who likes super lucky so i got a new fridge freezer which i can now fill with tango <laughs> cool so uh, I did have a bit of a point where I wasn't entering competitions like this because I was thinking, where am I going to put the stuff? You know, if you win loads of packets of cereal or whatever, but now we've got a big fridge freezer, we have somewhere to put it all. Yes. Um, so yeah, cool. Thanks for assisting with that, Ryland. Um, are you yeah. off now? No. Well, off, shall I read this letter? This is a nice letter because this is a prize that Ry will enjoy it as well. Mm -hmm. um, so this is, I well, I mentioned this in the last unboxing and said I didn't have details. So I didn't want to share it. But when we came back from Korea at the end of April, um, do you remember we were talking about our next holiday? Yeah. Oh, and you yeah. said, oh, it'd be really nice to go somewhere with a swimming pool um, and just do a bit of a sort of all-inclusive lounging around holiday nets because Korea was very busy. 
And I said, well, I like that, but wouldn't it be good to get, do that somewhere more exciting than Spain, where we usually go? Um, and, and then we thought, well, how about somewhere like Mexico, Cuba, Costa Rica? Because they have those kind of hotels there. So I came back to England, and then the Tuesday after we got back from Korea, I was listening to Capital Breakfast Show, and I enter competitions on Capital all the time. I've never won, never had a call back. And on the Tuesday morning, I got a call back from a text in and got to spin the McCoy's wheel on the breakfast show. And I think there were six prizes. I think two of them were English um, trips. One was Portugal. Two were Mexico. They were all themed about the crisp flavours. So there were salsa and nacho cheese were the two Mexican ones. So they spun the wheel in the studio and I won the salsa flavour and won a trip to Mexico. So uh, I waited because I didn't put it on the unboxing because I wasn't sure exactly what the prize was. But the letter I had um, from NDL who were looking after it was, uh, Dear Diana, congratulations on winning your fantastic prize with McCoy's and Capital. You have won a trip to Mexico. Your prize includes flights for two adults to Cancun, Mexico, uh, seven nights accommodation at an all-inclusive four-star hotel on the Caribbean coast. Uh, unlimited food and beverages for the duration of your stay, a catamaran cruise with lunch, £250 spending money and travel insurance, um, which is great. However, two people doesn't include Rye. So uh, I waited to hear from them and then um, I spoke to a lovely guy at NDL and he said, well, actually, we can be flexible with it if you're prepared to pay a bit more. So we looked into it and... Um, and we've managed to book it because it was originally for two adults in term time. We've managed to change it for two adults and Ryland in school holidays. So um, what he did is he took kind of the spending money and the catamaran cruise off and the travel insurance because we didn't need it. And then took all that off the extra money so we paid a bit more. And now we're going away just before Christmas and just before Rye's 14th birthday for a week. So um, And also I think we're in a five star hotel as well, what he's put us in, which looks fabulous. Loads of swimming pools, loads of restaurants. Um, never been to Mexico before. Probably do a day trip to Chichen Itza, see some Mayan ruins and things. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. It'd be brilliant. It's It's been obviously quite an exciting year for holidays for me so far. I've already been on the trip to Oman that Susanna won and then Korea and Mexico as well. So uh, proper uh, jet setting, aren't we, this year? Yeah. So, yeah, it'd be fab and a good way to celebrate your birthday early. Cool. Lovely. Well, that's it, Rai. Thanks for your help. It's been good to see you back here. And I'm sure you'll be grateful that you'll be moving downstairs into your new TV room later this week so you won't be yep. playing the PlayStation in the kitchen here with me. Cool. cool. Lovely. Yeah. All right then. Bye for now. Hello, it's now the 25th of May and yesterday I had the first parcel delivery from Royal Mail that I've had for three weeks. It's the first parcel delivery anyone on my street has had from Royal Mail for three weeks because they're totally understaffed in the Brighton office. Um, nobody's getting any mail and you have to go into the sorting office and ask for it. Uh, however, I have had some parcels arrive. So let's start with, let's start with this one which I wasn't very happy about because I actually had to pay £3.50 to receive this one because the company that sent it sent it as a large letter and it's got something in that's made it way too fat to be a large letter so I've had to pay for it. Um, so I think that's actually the first time I've had to pay extra for a prize that's been underpaid which isn't too bad really. Um, so I won't complain. At least it's finally here. I think they posted it in April. So let's have a look. been so long I've forgotten what it actually is. Right. Oh there's lots of things inside. Hold on. Get some bobs in here. Right okay. Oh there we go. Dropped it on the floor. Right. Okay. Bits and bobs. Right letter first which is Dear Di congrats on winning the prize draw. We hope you enjoy the book from the National Numeracy team. Um, so National Numeracy um, I hadn't heard of them before um, however, I recently met up for coffee with a local blogger called Timmy, Mr. Money Jar, and I've been following him on Instagram, and I noticed that he actually partners with National Numeracy, um, and they're just um, making maths more accessible, and I was really interested in what they were doing, so I started following them on Instagram, and they promoted their TikTok and said they were doing a giveaway over there, so I popped over to TikTok and found them. And they were doing this giveaway, just a simple comment to enter. And I've won this book, which is a classic Osborne Lift the Flat, which are, I love these books. And um, 
Could be, no. I mean, I don't know. It could be that Ryland's a bit old for this. I say that, but it is interesting, isn't it? Kind of these sort of things are really good. So what's a good deal? What's a bad deal? Um, oh, it's actually got dollars written on it. So it must be an American version. So managing money, um, earning money, things like that. So obviously I'd say it's probably aimed at maybe older junior school kids, but it does look like quite a great book actually um yeah so that is pretty cool prize and Ryland might be interested in it but if not it's going in the Christmas box because I know some other kids that my friends have got that definitely like this book so um yeah TikTok competition um also oh, the things that a little stress reliever in there that's what <laughs> that's what I paid three pound fifty for essentially isn't it um some stickers and a pen and also some badges so maths matters for me badges uh, my mum would approve of this i make numbers work and numeracy for life my yeah my mum would approve because she was a maths teacher before she retired uh, and she loves maths so yeah any anything related to maths and numbers my mum would approve of so that's cool i <laughs> i think she, i'm probably going to give her one of these stickers or put it on my next letter that i send to her Cool, so thank you to National Numeracy. Give them a follow on TikTok. Um, that is, I don't know I had. I think, I feel like I've had a, a, another TikTok win this year, but I can't remember what it is. But I am trying, it's one of my aims to go on TikTok more regularly and just try and find brands on there and find competitions. So that's something that I'm trying to, trying to squeeze into my daily comping routine. Okay, th oh, this prize. Oh, this prize I've been waiting for for ages as well. I know what it is. I think a lot of people watching this will have already had this one ages and ages ago. Um, here it is. Here we go. So, congratulations. You've won a game of Dobble, which is a fab game. I'm sure you, you should know it if you're a parent. It's actually fun for grown-ups as well, to be honest. Uh, just little cards in the box. And there's only one picture that's on any two cards. It's quite hard to explain. Really simple game to grasp. Uh, and it's really good fun. Uh, this was with Caprison. You had to buy a Caprison product and you could enter. And then they also asked for my receipt before they sent me the prize as well on this one. Um, so I did, I did, well, I bought once and then just kept entering every day until I won. And then you only had to send one receipt. So just to prove that you bought it. Um, they had thousands of prizes in that one. That was definitely one that was worth doing. It's closed now, unfortunately. Um, yeah, and this one, I think I know what this one is as well. The shape of this one. Again, this might be one that a few a few people watching have worn. Yep, it is. New York Bakery Company Bagel Tin. So this is their promotion, which does run for a little longer. I think it finishes on, hang on, I can tell you in a moment. So this is a tin to keep your bagels in or to keep other bits, kitchen bits and bobs. I've actually got mine full of um, like cookie cutters and bits and bobs and little cupcake cases and things like that I use my other tin for. So handy for storing bits in, maybe rice as well would go in it if not your bagels. Um, so this is a promotion, it finishes soon though, 4th of June, the top prize, top prizes are New York trips, but there's lots of bagels, bagel tins and mugs to be won. So still got a few days left to enter that one. And the code is inside the packet. It's a unique code that's behind that black label. They do regular competitions on those bagels. So I tend not to buy them when they're not running a competition, but when they do have a competition, that's what Ryland's getting in his packed lunch most days. Um, okay, and another parcel here. Um, not sure, not sure what this one is. Well, it feels like a book, but I don't know what book. Oh, it's two books. Two books in there. Stuck together. Okay. Right, let's get them out. I don't know if they've got, there's no delivery note in here, but I can remember who they were from. Uh, this is a competition I entered with. Um, Laura Pearson on Twitter. I think her handle is actually Laura M Pearson. She's an author, uh, and she did just a, 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 
a giveaway where I think there were 25 different um, publishers and giveaways on Twitter and it was simple as she posted a whole thread with all the different book cover photographs and said like the ones that you're interested in and then she just picked a winner for all all the books uh, for each one so I wasn't sure what I'd won because I liked about four or five of them um, so these two I thought sounded quite exciting uh, and I think I'm going to give these to my niece Hannah um, from serial data to serial killer and they say she's a murderer she says nothing um, I think these are definitely going to be uh, right up her street so I'm going to see her soon because we're going to download festival together just for the Sunday um, so I will pass those books on to her and hopefully she'll enjoy them I mentioned before that Twitter's amazing for book giveaways so if that is something that you're into then Twitter is the platform for that definitely um, you'll find loads, loads of authors and book giveaways on there um, what else do I need to tell you about? I had a win on the last um, Amaze draw. Um, you know, I mentioned before that I, I try and get into the Amaze draw because they have thousands of the smaller prizes. Um, so for this one, I actually won £20 of Amazon vouchers. I think I spent £25 on tickets at the start of the promotion, but they do an offer right at the end as well. And if you buy early bird tickets for the next draw, you get bonus ones from the previous draw, if that makes sense. Um, so I think I probably, I maybe would say that I spent about £35 on tickets for Amaze and then I won £20 Amazon back. And, and I don't know if you remember, I won in the last draw that they did as well. So uh, obviously I'm, it's still a loss there. However, um, a percentage of that money is going to charity for every house draw that Amaze do so there are a lot of smaller prizes so if you have got money you want to donate it to charity but you want a chance of winning I think it's better to um, spend your money on something like the Amaze house draw um, rather than doing anything on a pay to enter raffle website where you're literally getting a ticket there's no charity donation at all so that's the only type of of that kind of competition that I enter is the Amaze ones because as I say tens of thousands of smaller prizes you know it's a good chance of picking up one of those little prizes and who knows someone's got to win a house haven't they so um yes that's that one. Oh, and the other thing that I won um, last weekend we had a brilliant time at the Great Escape Festival in Brighton because once again I won tickets I win tickets every year I've never paid for a ticket to the Great Escape it's a brilliant festival uh, it's on for three days in Brighton it's on Thursday, Friday and Saturday in the middle of May every year uh, it's, it's really for sort of music industry professionals but anybody can go but it just means loads of people come down from London or the record label people and there's loads of events going on everywhere it's so busy in Brighton it's fantastic um, and this year I realized actually I could only go on one day it was really busy on the Thursday and the Friday so the Saturday was the only day that Rob and I could go and um, I think it was Sarah sent me a link in Instagram DMs for Red Leg Rum on Instagram and they were doing a ticket giveaway for a day of your choice because they were sponsoring one of the stages um, and you just had to comment and say what can't how you like to drink the rum uh, so I said I like it in um, I didn't say mojito actually I can't remember what I was saying maybe with ginger ale can't remember anyway um, so when I entered there was only there was five entries and I thought oh gosh I'll get tell Rob to enter so Rob entered as well so there's six comments when this competition closed um, I actually did a little bit of nosing because I noticed that someone who'd commented, I'd seen her comment on another Great Escape competition and she'd tagged the three people below her who entered and then I looked and three of those accounts were hers and one of them was a dog's account and I noticed that she'd done three comments on the Red Leg Rum one and I was like, mm, well, if, if she wins, it's not really fair because, because she's done all these entries from a different, all her own accounts and besides, a dog can't really go to a festival. Anyway, I digress. Um, turns out she didn't win. I won, Rob won, and the other guy who entered won. Um, so I, we did email and we said, look, you know, both of us have won tickets. Is that okay? And they said, it's absolutely fine. You've won in the draw. So we took our two friends, Matt and Sally, as well. And we had a really good day. It was so sunny. We got to see eight bands between three o'clock in the afternoon and about 1 a.m. Uh, yeah, it was really good fun. So yeah, I love that festival and uh, it just always pleases me that every year I manage to find a competition in like the last the last week beforehand and always manage to win tickets, love it. So yeah, and of course that's festival tickets, so even though it's just one day I've still ticked that off my wish, wish list because festival tickets was on the wish list. 
Um, and I think that's it. I think that's it for prizes for now. Um, see you soon. Hello, it's the 30th of May and the end of the month, so the final bit of the unboxing. Um, I am in the snug now. So this is the room that I told you about about a year ago. It was a room full of rubble under our stairs and uh, we wanted to convert it into a second like TV gaming room for Ryland to have and also put a sofa bed in so his mates could stay over. And you know what? It's finally done. It's taken over a year. Um, so let me just spin the camera around to show you. So uh, here we go. So these cupboards are hiding all the electric meters and the boiler and things like that. We've had a window put in. Uh, there's our... Uh, what well, I suppose it's the old telly, the big new telly's going into our new lounge and in there you can see my new fridge freezer, that is the store where I've got fridge freezer and loads of wine um, so I should also lift this up a second and show you that Ryland's got I've only just started putting stuff in there, we've got some LEDs and he's got all his Funko Pops and his empty prime bowls up there as well. So cool. So yes, new room in the house, which is quite exciting. And I've spent the last two days uh, painting our lounge as well. So hopefully we can get the big telly that I won last year out of the box today and actually start watching it, which would be great. Anyway, back to the unboxing. So prizes I need to tell you about. I had a good, well, I've actually spent the last two days of the bank holiday weekend painting. However, Saturday was really good fun. I went up to London. So uh, my first stop was Twickenham. I won tickets to the Gallagher Premiership Rugby Final, uh, Saracens versus Sale Sharks at Twickenham. Never been to a rugby match in my life. So this was on the London Pride Instant Win Spin to Win. Uh, which someone sent to me and I tested it as I always do before I listed it on Super Lucky and of course I managed to win one of the top prizes of rugby tickets so um, I thought why not give it a go um, couldn't get anyone to go with me though all my friends were busy and then um, Susanna couldn't make it so I just thought I'm going to go anyway and I arranged to meet a couple of the Lucky Learners group up there um, so yeah it was a lovely sunny day went up there and as part of the prize, we got two free drinks vouchers for the winner. So obviously I was there on my own and I was given four, but the guy I spoke to was really lovely. And he said, oh, just, just have some more drinks vouchers. And you know, if you see the other winners and I said, well, I've, I've got a friend Charlotte who's coming. She's not won tickets. And he said, well, have four drinks vouchers, have some drinks vouchers for her as well. And I'm like, okay. Um, so I ended up with like vouchers for 12 free pints at the London Pride bus. Um, so yeah so that was fun so um charlotte and didn't turn up till a bit later so i i made i made friends with some random brummies uh and i i gave them a pint got them around uh drinks each which was great fun uh and then i managed to meet up with charlotte just before the match started actually so uh, we met up had some photos and then her fella had a couple of the free drinks and then I went into the ground and it's great at rugby because you can take your pint in. I hadn't realised at football they're so strict, aren't they? No, no alcohol, no, you've got to take the lids off your pop bottles and all sorts. But Twickenham, it was super relaxed. Um, so I got pints taken there. And then I was sitting next to Lucy from Lucky Learners. Uh, so we had a bit of a chat and uh, we took photos of each other with the try sign for the selfie competition. Uh, and then she tried to explain the rugby to me, uh, which was quite tricky, to be honest. But I did enjoy it. It was very exciting. And then it was only towards the end when I realised that Sale, mm, they weren't going to come back and win it. That I thought, right, I better get out early before the other 60,000 people. Um, because I'd had to rush into London because I had another prize to get to. And that was meeting my friend Helena for cocktails. Um, so this was a prize that I won with, um, it's in the Conrad St James Hotel in London, which is lovely, and they've got a bar called the Hedgerow Bar, and they were just giving away, it was a coronation competition, and you got to try, they'd, they'd created three cocktails for the King's coronation, and you and your friend got to try them for free. So I met Helena, Hel Hel Helena, I'm never sure if it's Helena or Helena, I probably should ask her. Um, but yes, so we met and we took some photos first up near Sloan Square for the Chelsea and Bloom competitions and then we went for cocktails and it was lovely. So we had seats at the bar and Tony, the bartender, he'd actually invented all these cocktails. So he was absolutely loving creating them and explaining everything to us. Um, and as well as that, we got snacks and we had um, these lovely sort of cauliflower bites and 
and and everything was free and he even gave us extra cocktails that weren't on the menu he had a special like valentine duo of cocktails it was so funny it was like we were on a funny date um but we had a lovely time but they were quite strong i must admit um so that was great and then just back to brighton after that but that was just a comment to enter and tag a friend and of course when they announced it they tagged Helena and myself as the winners and Helena said oh you don't have to take me and I thought actually it'd be really nice to take you so uh, we had a comping catch up and also she's recently been to Japan and New Zealand and so we, I chatted about Korea she told me all about Japan it was really lovely to have a catch up with her um, so I enjoyed that I'm going to enter more competitions to go to London for cocktails I think um, so yeah so that's what I've been doing this weekend now I have also got a box to open here I'm going to have a drink of my tea first that's better so yes, let me open this box. And, <laughs> oh, it's a heavy big box, which is always the most exciting kind of box to open, isn't it? Uh, okay. Right. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. What I didn't explain is why I didn't take Robin Ryland with me on these in my events in London, but they were actually at a football tournament all day long, uh, which actually Hope Park Colts got to and they lost in the final. But last week they won the tournament. So Ryland's been in two finals in the last two weekends after having never been to one for six years with the football team. So it's been very exciting. But yes, so I would, I would have taken Ryland to the rugby because I think he would have enjoyed it actually. There was quite a lot of... The kids were having the right laugh beforehand. But anyway, what's in this box? Lots of packaging, of course, as usual. And we have got, oh, this looks cute. Look at this gorgeous picnic rug. So this is the Tartan Blanket Company. And this is uh, a wool picnic rug. Ooh, recycled wool, waterproof picnic blanket. Look how cute that is, that is so nice. Now I've got a barber picnic blanket that I won years ago and I use it all the time. Um, but it's got a few rips on it and it's <laughs> it's had quite a lot of hummus spilt on it over all the years. So this would be my, my new fancy picnic blanket. So that's really smart, isn't it? And then of course, if you're gonna have a picnic blanket, you've gotta have a picnic packer. Oh, so, <laughs> okay, here we go. And this, this is heavy, so, um, open this for you lovely I love recycling these hampers um, to put Christmas presents in for the nanas <laughs> every Christmas they get a hamper and I fill it with stuff and then I ask for it back so I can give it to them again the next year so here's a new one and this one is from Brockman's Gin so um, enjoy a delicious g and tea or sunset spritz so this is a cocktail ingredients so um these the ingredients are going to be in this hamper so i won't tell you what they are i will open the hamper and show you what they are so this is celebrating brockman's orange gin which i didn't think existed i'm quite excited i'm a big fan of brockman's gin i i won a year's supply of it in a treasure hunt competition maybe about five years ago and it's so nice so this is something new that they've got brockman's orange kiss gin so it's a bottle of that and then we've got a little one here. Oh, chocolate orange shortbread. High grove chocolate orange shortbread. That's nice. And then we've got a new cocktail shaker. And you know I love my cocktails. So, oh, this is smart. That is really nice, actually. That's, that is a smart one. That's nicer than the one we use. And a little, oh, a new cocktail jigger. Fancy. Um, some bitter marmalade, dark chocolate. Bit of a theme going on here, isn't there? Bit of an orange theme. And it feels like it's gonna be a glass, but not a glass glass. I think it's a safe. It is, actually, no, it feels really light, but I think it is glass, but it just feels so lightweight. That's really smart, isn't it? So that's your perfect sort of spritz glass. And um, would probably be. Oh, I don't want to get too much, too much to clean up on the floor in here. 
And this will be a second one, I think. This would be nice, actually, for summer. Summer spritzes. And, oh, more little bottles at the bottom. So, ah, oh, Prosecco. Mini bottle of Prosecco. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, I thought there was something missing here for this. Aperol. So the, the recipe here is Aperol Prosecco and Brotman's Orange Gin. And one more thing, I think, which must be one of these little bottles. Yes, here it is. So pink grapefruit. Um, fizzy pink grapefruit. Lovely. Now we buy that sometimes anyway to make a Paloma cocktail, which is really nice, which is tequila and pink grapefruit um, but yeah this sounds good actually so yeah so two bottles of the pink grapefruit and the cocktail recipe is just um, building a wine glass over ice cubes orange kiss prosecco grapefruit soda and Aperol mm, so I'm gonna have to make one of those and take a photo and tag Brotman's in on Instagram uh, but that's yep yeah, that's everything out of there what a lovely promise really lovely so I'm chuffed with that uh, and that one the competition was it was to do with sunsets and Brotman said um just leave a comment telling us about the most or the best sunset you've seen where it was in the world so I left a comment and said my favorite sunset was in Leksand Sweden because it started at 11 p.m and went on for hours and um I've got a really lovely photo of Ryland and I watching that sunset. I remember at the time it was just amazing over a lake, beautiful place. Uh, but yeah, this one, it was just a comment. You didn't have to leave a photograph, so I don't know. Maybe it was completely at random. Maybe they actually read through the comments and thought that's that one stands out above the rest. But again, it's another cocktail prize that I've managed to win. And I have mentioned before that I do share cocktails on my Instagram. I've got cocktails in my bio and it is a prize that I tend to win a lot of and it's perfect for me. Um, so yeah, really chuffed with this one. What a fantastic surprise that is. Um, so this is it coming to the end. Let's have a bit of my tea. I've got a list of a couple more prizes I think I need to tell you about. Um, yes, I've done that, that, that. So I've got two more. One of them is a little one from the Philadelphia Unpack Eurovision promotion. Um, I think it was instant wins, wasn't it? So you had to just upload your receipt for that one. And I won. It's, they advertised it as music for a month. Um, the idea was you, you win £5.99 straight in your bank account. And the idea is that's the cost of a music subscription for the month. But actually it's paid into your bank account. So just a small prize with that. And finally, Yori, which is a lovely Korean barbecue chain, um, started off, I think, in London, but they opened one in Brighton quite recently. Uh, we went there just before we went to Korea to get some practice in. It's fantastic. Um, and they ran a competition. They were opening another branch in London, and they said, say in the comments where you think it is. The first 10 correct answers are going to win prizes. Um, so I put Shoreditch I think I went through and saw what other people were answering and I did a bit of a Google and I thought actually it does look like Shoreditch would be the place for them uh, and it did turn out to be Shoreditch I was one of the first 10 to answer and I won a £20 voucher for Yori and I'm thinking maybe that might be a good place to go my birthday's coming up in June so we might go there because it is really good fun cooking your own um, I say cooking your own meat Robin Ryland do I usually have a tofu stew um, but yeah, great food anyway. So yeah, I was really pleased, really pleased with this month's prizes, especially the, the, um, the fun I had up in London and the festival and everything. So I hope you've had some good wins as well in May. Um, I will be doing an end of month uh, roundup in the Boot Compass group. We do a group call and that will be on the 31st of May if you're watching this on the 31st of May. Um, and I look forward to hearing all about your prizes in June, especially if you've won tickets to Glastonbury. I want to hear all about that. And um, make sure you just keep up to date with everything. My blog, I've done an Instagram um, tips guide this month that you might want to check out if you want some hints and tips on winning more prizes on Instagram. And that's it. See you soon. Bye bye.